We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. stopped at these moorings overnight just long enough for me to upload a video <laughs> and we're back on the move again so Nikki's just untying her ropes and we'll be up Lock with weeds I know lots and lots of weed lots of blanket weed I don't know if it I don't know if the camera's picking this up but there is a we lot of it a lot yeah, I think we're going to have a weed hatch day today. Oh dear, <laughs> we haven't got 50, 50 meters and uh, Martin's had to put it in reverse to shake off what was on the prop. Anyway, we have heard that the weed cutters are actually out on the Neen, but they haven't said where. <laughs> They've just said expect delays. Well, let's hope we've, we come across them. <laughs> lovely bridge coming up yeah this is this is the bridge that you have to take quite an angle to get through the right arch the big arch with the arrow so a bit of a maneuver but uh, I'm sure one that Martin will pull off no problem Martin's done really well there. I'm so glad they've got arrows telling you where to go because you would automatically think you were going around there, around to the left. But, uh, yeah. So this is Higham Lock, and Higham Lock has V gates at both ends. But it does mean that when we leave the lock, we can just leave those gates open. So once the boats are up, I can get on and we just go. Cool. So it's quite nice. We can leave the gates open on this one. So I've climbed aboard and got on the boat and good timing, another boat's coming the other way. Lock. This is the one with the radial gate. So we're going to go underneath the radial gate. Ditchford Lock. Why is it radial? But why did they make it radial? But you'll Tell us in the vlog, won't you? Oh, 
I'm looking out for you, Nikki. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. And there's the radio alarm up from the top of the lock. Fantastic structure, but goodness me, it's ever so slow. <laughs> another lock done, one more today. they were really helpful one of them found a windlass and said would we like it so we've taken it obviously um, if we get further up and someone says they left their windlass at uh, Upper Wellingborough then obviously we'll give it back to them but otherwise we've gained a windlass exiting Upper Wellingborough lock and we're on our way hoping to get a mooring at Wellingborough Believe it or not, we're looking forward to uh, mooring up at Wellingborough because the last time we moored there, even though it was really, really loud, we got a great night's sleep. So looking forward to that. Hopefully our friends Pete and Debbie are going to be there as well. So I've messaged ahead to see if they're near Wellingborough at all and hopefully we'll get to see them too. So we've been moored once again at Wellingborough in front of these buildings and they are literally on the go 24 7 and we have had a fantastic night's sleep again because of the white noise it's fantastic so next time we get to a mooring and we say oh it's a bit noisy that's where we'll moor <laughs> see the lock there so that wasn't long under two bridges and we're here so this is upper Wellingborough lock both boats in and we're starting to do the paddle very slowly to let the water in 
yeah that lock was a bit uh, weedy and you can probably see all the weed we said last time when we came down north of Wellingborough was so weedy so I expect we'll have a few visits to the weed hatch today See how weedy it is by all the, the pieces sticking out of the water. <laughs> it is a bit cold. <laughs> We're just saying, I feel like we're taking this dirty grey horrible black cloud with us because over to the right, lovely blue sky. <laughs> and here we have Wollaston Lock. It's electric, so that's good. <laughs> that's literally only one turn of the paddle. Wow. These are so, so fierce, these lots. So fierce. See you in a minute. Yeah, see you in a minute. <laughs> okay, so now here we go. Reset the lock with the guillotine up. But this isn't good. <laughs> There's no gates to get out of. You have to climb over there or try and get under that. That's too low. So I have to go over this. Oh, look at all the weed. Yikes. Nick is down the weed hatch. We've only just left the lock see the lock's only just there only just left the lock but it's thick weed everywhere yikes well it's all happening here it looks like Nikki's back down her weed hatch and we're about to go down our weed hatch and we've got the weeder up there and he's pulled over for us. Hopefully it'll be better up here Nick. Yep. <laughs> yeah so we've managed to get past Nicky and we're crawling along at the moment. I think Martin's going to go down the weed hatch when we get to the next lock if we can make it and hopefully past this machine here on the left. It should be better anyway because that's what that's what they've been doing clearing the weed pulled over for us to come through but Nicky's had to go back down the weed hatch. So hopefully this should be a little bit freer of weed for us to go through. I've just spoken to the lady and she said that they're going up to the lock that we've just been at. They're going to be turning around and coming back to do this again so that's how bad it is they're having to do it twice so yeah we're just coasting along at the moment i mean there's still loads of weed i don't know if you can see this under here it's blanket weed and it just wraps around your prop and stops your prop it is thick so martin's now having to go down the weed hatch we're just gonna have to coast So this is Doddington Lock and I'm just uh, waiting for our boats to come in but Martin seems to be having a bit of an issue. I think he's got a load of weed around his crop again. Martin had a load of fishing line as well. At last he's managed to get in. This uh, River Nee and his hard work has been a few visits to the weed hatch today. Look how windy it's getting, we're getting near white mills. <laughs> so just leaving Doddington Lock 
took us a while but uh, got through there had a GRP in front of us and then a narrow boat behind us and they weren't coming up until we'd reversed the lock so so yeah and Nikki's out in open water here <laughs> and we're gonna go past hopefully everything's okay you okay who's at the tiller <gasps> oh look at you easy time is it today? No, a lot of weed. Been down the weed hatch a couple of times. Nikki's definitely been down the weed hatch a bit more because she's deep drafted. See so Nikki yeah, in the background. She's got a bigger prop so she gets more weed round there. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody like candy floss when you get it out, isn't it? Oh, this looks quite a tough bed. Hold it, I'm going to turn around really sort of slowly. Well, it's not down, but oh, nice little tree there. So it's coming down. Is she going to leave me on the tree, or is she going to take me with her? Yeah. Well negotiated. There you go. This is a face of panic. Shut up. Just need to bend. It's a bend, Julie, don't worry. I'm doing all right. <laughs> it's getting it through small bridge holes and locks that I can't, I've not, not tried yet, anyway. I mean, did you see what she just showed you? That was 10 inches. <laughs> small bridge holes, you've got 10 inches, Julie. Nicky! Charge of the Nick Brigade. Oh, Julie might take it up to a thousand revs today. Let's see how we're going. Off, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm on 13. Oh, hold on. 14. I'm not doing it on 13. Just coming up to what's the name of this one? Els Barton, I think. Els Barton Lock. So, yeah. Just look at this ladder. I'm supposed to walk up that. Just leaving Els Barton Lock. So that's it. One more to do. Crikey. shining and this is Whiston Lock we seem to have lost the sunshine again and uh, I've got the floppy out ready just in case we get wet but uh, yeah this is Whiston Lock so it looks like we may end up doing another three or possibly four or five locks because there's just no moorings <laughs> yep already well we had to get rained on at some stage so here we go we're getting wet never mind never mind to Coggenhoe Lock. It's come round quite quick, hasn't it? Yep, 
you've got caravan site next door. Sheep are sleeping on the bridge. <laughs> Look at that. This is actually really nice this evening. We've never really had a, um, an evening cruise before. Say so the wind has dropped, the sun's come out. It's actually quite pleasant. It's nice. I'm enjoying this. Fishermen here. Well, oh, that's the other side of the lock. Nice and weedy, but that is only surface duckweed, so that's not too bad. And at the moment, we are in Billing Lock. So I think we are doing the next lock. We'll have a look at the moorings. But I wouldn't mind betting that we're going to go on and do one more lock, Western Favel, and try for the washlands. Fingers crossed. <laughs> There's lots of gnats around tonight, lots of bugs. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think Martin will ever get bored of that toy. Drone, I believe. Going up to the next lock, and there's another tree leaning right over. Look at that! Jeepers! Crikey! very far to, from the last one it's only been about five or ten minutes and we're here and the weed is thicker at this one look at that geez almost looks like you could walk across it as if it's grass we are now in Clifford Hill Lock so we've just left Clifford Hill Lock and we're now looking for a mooring. There's supposed to be some moorings up here on the left. If not, we're going to have to do one more lock and we're going to have to try for the washlands. But uh, 
Yeah, it's getting quite late. It's 10 past eight, so time's ticking on now. We really could do with mooring up. So there should be some moorings up here on the left. We were looking for the Clifford Hill moorings and we we can't find them. Hey ho! Onwards and upwards. We certainly can't do the washlands at uh, at this time of night. It's it's too late. The sun's going down. Now we're on the washlands. So we're approaching Western Favel Lock. And just fingers crossed, folks, that we get in at uh, Washlands. Even they're surprised to see two narrow boats coming along at this time of night. Goodness. So, <laughs> some lazy boater has obviously been through here and not reset the lock. So we came along and the gather team was down. So we've had to empty the lock so we can get our boats in. This really is last chance saloon because through there is um, a mooring to the right. If not, we've got the whole of the washlands to do. And like I say, it's about half past eight now. So it's a little bit late for us to carry on, to be fair. So here we go through the barrage gate that gets shut in times of flood you can see the sun is starting to set and that's the way we'll be going and these are the moorings we've got a mooring oh my goodness I cannot believe these are free how lucky are we We've been going all day. It was obviously meant to be, but I love this place. Isn't this just beautiful? I know the sun's setting. I'm hoping that you can see what's in front of us. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you don't know how relieved we feel. We can stop here tonight and tomorrow night and then Sunday, it's time for us to go back up to the canal.